Hey, Dickie, it's Colin. Okay, I've just grabbed some code from your page, tossed it into Expression Web 4 to have a little look-see and see what I can come up with. There's a couple of things that I've, I've seen that I would suggest you fix anyways, but it could quite possibly be the entire problem. Um, first of all, in your... Go into your... Uh, blah, 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 mega menu page. So you're... Uh, where are we here? Mega menu wrapper. Okay, so we want to get into your Mega Menu page, All right? And it just looks like it's loading in from here the Mega Menu or Menu Top Wrapper within the. So we got uh, Library Menu Top Wrappers Menu Top Wrapper right there. Um, anyways, once you get into that page, open up your Library page that you edit for your your Menu Top, and right down at the bottom there's some paragraph tags right here. Right, you have to do this in code view, but look to see where the, you see the NUMO horizontal links? Right above that is an LI tag. That's an extra one. You don't need that, and that should be deleted. Okay, because what that's doing is it's basically saying with that LI tag, it's it's closing that off, um, and it could cause problems lower down the page because it's a, it's a improper tag. Okay, so that's step number one. Now the big one is what I noticed, and I have to do this in code once again as well to see if I can demonstrate what's happened here. Yeah, or let me just go to your web page and see if I can figure that out. Hang on. Okay, part of the problem is going to be this, especially with IE, which is such a horrible browser. Uh, let me just highlight. I'm going to do the inspect element with Firebug, okay? And I'm going to use this little tool here to sort of find things. But right here, see this, this heading 1 style, this H1 style? Well, the entire paragraph is wrapped in an H1 tag, and then the span inside has an additional font size of font size small. So basically this entire thing that I'm highlighting is an H1 tag. So for SEO purposes, that's going to sort of dilute the content. Uh, H1 tag should only be reserved for the first few words and only used once on the page, really. These would typically be H3 tags. It's not going to have a huge impact, but the problem is if the entire chunk of content is wrapped within that heading one tag, yeah, it's going to cause some problems, uh, especially with IE, because I this is this is a lot more content than an H1 tag should contain, and maybe that's why it's being cut off because H1 tags have their own special set of properties according to the web browser. Uh, so I'm just going to see if I can actually find some of that text and see if I can help you out here. Um, if you open up your page and you go to and this is the tough one, you go to the body one section, right? And you sign, you find the first H1 style. Just do a select tag. So on this H1, just double click or right click and do select tag. That's fine and dandy about Florence three day, Tyree day. So boom, that's exactly what you want, right? And then down below we have a paragraph. And then you have another H1 tag down here. If I select this one here, see where it says H1 style. If I do a select tag, it highlights the entire paragraph, and that's not a good thing. What you, what you really need to do is, is take this H1 tag right here and put it at the end of the actual title, which would probably be right about here. And this is kind of tough to find, but, you know, there's the strong, there's the graduate of Realtor Institute, and we have the two closing tags after that, and then pop that in there um, and sort of do the same for the next H1 tag. Do the, right, you need to grab this H1 tag from down here. Uh, go find the end of your credited buyer representation after the strong, after the span, and before the next span tag starts, you would actually have to pop in the H1 tag there. So just a little bit of HTML cleanup. Until that's fixed or solved, then you won't be able to uh, sort, sort things out for Internet Explorer because, the, um, like I said, when you wrap everything within an H tag, Heading tags have their own special properties, and each browser interprets those properties slightly different. Um, and it's very possible that uh, you're not seeing content because it's not allowed to wrap in an H1 tag. Heading tags shouldn't wrap to the next line. They're, they're, they're designed to be a single line of text only. So that is very possibly what you're running into there. So anyways, I'm, gonna sh I, I'm showing you what I think is wrong um, and what I think you need to do to straighten it out. Um, let me know if you need any help.